landed in Canada. I'm on my way to customs right now. I hope that the border doesn't lock me up. I hope they don't put me in a small cell because I can't find my passport. Um, I looked in my bag like 10 minutes ago, didn't find it. I still got my other bag right here. I, I really don't know where I put my goddamn passport. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, shit, I'm fucked. <laughs> All right guys, so uh, I just got out of the whole gimmick. Um, about to try to take a flight to Vancouver now. Yes, I'm in Toronto. I uh, gotta take a connecting, but, and I still gotta go back through security. Freaking sucks, but it is what it is. Six hours later. Just landed in Vancouver, man. I'm on my way to the hotel now. I gotta catch one of these crazy taxis, bro. But yo, that flight, I was asleep the entire time. I didn't even shoot the takeoff. I didn't shoot the landing. Bro, what am I doing as a YouTuber, bro? <laughs> so I'm finally in my room, man. Um, I guess I can give you guys somewhat of a tour. It's not really much that is here, uh, but I'ma just show you guys anyway. So this is probably where I'm gonna be working at most of my time when I'm not at EA. I'm gonna be editing videos here. Um, I'm gonna have videos with X Chase Money, UTX The Privacy, Regular Dave, you know, 2K Gameplays, Pro-Am, Battlefield, all that. This is my bed, a nice king size bed. This is probably where I'm gonna be eating most of my food. Um, this is a chair for what reason, I don't know. I'm probably gonna put my suitcase there. Uh, they gave me two night tables, don't know why I need those. Um, yeah, so the wall art, I don't understand it. Um, <laughs> this is probably something that I'm never gonna touch. I really don't drink tea or coffee. Um, I'll probably take the free water. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take that free water. Uh, let's see if they gave me a... Oh, they gave me a fridge, so I probably can hit the uh, stop. Oh, that's your boy. Check your boy out, though. Your boy is swagging. You know what I'm saying? All black, everything. Every day, B. Nah, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, nice little closet. This is where I'm going to probably hang all of my clothes. Um, what I usually do on trips is I actually iron all of my clothes so I can just go inside and just put the clothes on after I hop out the shower. Um, nice little area where I'm going to be taking shits and showers. Shits and showers. Shits, showers. Shits, showers. Shits, showers. Yo, he's cheating. Jay, where it says all going, you know what I mean? I don't drink anymore, I promise. Just drinking out. Yo, what's up, y'all? Good morning, good morning. Your boy ain't even washed his face yet, bro. My breath stink like a motherfucker, yo. Man, it was a crazy night, long night, man. I was up till like two in the morning. But uh, I woke up this morning, had to fix a little something, man. I'm feeling a little, little brazzy right now, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do my, I do my own face, you know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't got no hair, so I gotta cut something, you know what I'm saying? Gotta show y'all the skills. But yo, I tore this room up, dog, like. <laughs> I'm so tired, yo, like, you don't understand, like, what I did to this room, bro. Look at the room behind me, dog. Like, I destroyed it, bro. <laughs> like, yo, shit is all over the floor. I got clean clothes on the floor, like, but at least I'm ironing my clothes, though. Like, I'm, I'm going to iron everything I got, though. Hey, yo, what y'all think, man? You know what I'm saying? My first official clothing as a Canadian, bro. You know what I'm saying? Check out that thing. That thing say Vancouver. You see that stitching? You see that high quality? Yeah, boy. Your boy Canadian, Nick. You know what I'm saying? About to go get some Canadian bacon, some OJ. You know what I'm saying? It's about to go down. Yo, yeah. food lit. Thank you, thank Got you. Our food. So this hungry. So hungry. Thank you very much. This is the blues I'm playing. Um, we are at EA Studios right now in Vancouver, bro. Uh, we are about to go check out a mocap session. Yo, they have an entire capture studio, son. Oh, man. It's lit. Yes, it's a final thing. When the night is cold and lonely.
Check it out. I'm at the Capture Studio right now at EA, bro. It's crazy they capping UFC right now, bro. Oh my God, it's just insane right now, dog. I'm mad hype. Don't worry about me. It's an experience. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> All right, guys. So we just got done checking out MoCat. We're on our way back to the game changer room. We're gonna be trying out a couple different things. You know what I'm saying, seeing what's what works and what doesn't. Uh, I'm hungry though. It's lit in this food truck. Woo! All right, you guys. So today is finally done. It's about like seven o'clock um, in Vancouver. We had an entire day of UFC, man. Bro, we did so much, man. It was it's just insane. Can't really talk about it too much. Um, I tried to get some basketball footage for you guys, but it seems like people wanted to play volleyball over basketball. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going down to the Edmonds Community Center. I'm gonna be heading down there right after this. And you know, bring the cam out, bring the basketball. I might do a couple 1v1 challenges, man. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Nice like that. So uh, we walking. And then I like one. Just got done. Fuck a cab, bro. It's Canada, bro. Everybody in shape in Canada, so I gotta walk, bro. It's only right. We're on our way back to the hotel casino. Then after that, I'm heading to the Edmonds uh, Community Center. You know what I'm saying? Ball up real quick. You already know what time it is. Well, guys, I have some terrible news. I've been in Canada for about 18 hours. And I've been itching to play basketball, shoot some footage. I can't. Uh, I was at the EA facility, you know what I'm saying? I had a great game changer uh, program day. But I had plans of, you know, shooting in their facility because they have a dope basketball gym. And I just couldn't because people were playing volleyball. I mean, I can't take that away from the people, you know what I'm saying? They're employees, they have a right to use the facility as they want. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like a nigga had an appointment. I mean, you know, but uh, after I found out that I couldn't do that, I uh, started Googling, you know, uh, community centers with basketball courts, uh, and if they had any fitness clubs with basketball courts, any colleges with basketball courts, and. There was one hopeful place. Uh, I said it was open till 10:30 tonight, and I went there. Got in a cab, you know. Said, "Hey, it's time to play some basketball." Got got all my camera, my footage, everything. You know, my tripod, my mic, boom stand, whatever. I got it all. I get to the front desk and I'm like, "Hey, I'm here to play some basketball." You know, I'm real hopeful. And she shot me down. My, my dreams were shattered in an instant. I'm sorry, but adults can't play today. I was like, adult? Ma'am, I'm like 15. She's like, sorry, sir, but... She called me sir, by the way, sir, by the way. You know what I'm saying? The age is showing. Uh, she was like, well, right now, there's no basketball being played at all. Uh, currently, badminton, or is, is that how you say it, badminton? And youth soccer is being played on the, the current basketball courts. Bruh. Shot me down. I'm I'm back at the hotel. I, I don't know what to do with myself. Just dreams are shattered. I periscoped my, my, my shattered dreams. So there were a couple community centers, a couple colleges and stuff like that. Some drinks were like 40 minutes away, some were 50 minutes away, but I had caught one that was open until 10.30 tonight. So I just went there, I'm in the cab right now. If you guys can't see, I'm like in the cab. But um, I went there and come to find out they don't have basketball for adults tonight. They're actually playing soccer and badminton right now. Like they wasting these precious courts out here in these streets. Like, <laughs> I went in there with, like, listen, I swear to God, I was on the phone for, like, 20 minutes, and I'm listening to the automated messaging, and they're like, yeah, um, 7 to 10 is, like, when adults come in, um, and they're open on Fridays, and I'm like, all right, cool, bet, bet, bet. 
So I get there and they're like, nah, bro, we got this bad man going on and we got this youth soccer. So, you know what I'm saying? You can't hate on the youth, you know what I'm saying? So it's all good. I don't, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I just, like, y'all don't, y'all don't understand. Like, I'm, I'm war ready, bro. Like, I'm so war ready right now. Like, I was ready for this. I thought this was my calling. Like, look at them calves, man. Look at them calves. Them calves is ready. Like, I don't think y'all understand the calves is ready. Like, these, look at these calves, bruh. But, it is what it is, man. Maybe I'll go downtown or to a bar and drink away my sorrows. Who knows?